we are ready for our first challenge assignment. In this challenge, you will use what we've learned in this chapter to create the migrations we will need for our content management system. First, let me give you an idea of the structure I have in mind for our CMS. This is a sample layout for what I think a page in our CMS will look like. There's a navigation on the left that shows the available pages of content grouped by their subject. We can click on any page name and it takes us to that page. The content of each page will be on the right. Each page will be composed of several sections. In my example, we're looking at page 3, and we see the three sections of content that should appear on page 3. The hierarchy here is subject, page, sections. Another way to diagram it would be like this. A subject has several pages, and then a page has several sections. This concept where we have many objects that belong to another object is common with relational databases. We call it a one-to-many relationship. For that relationship to work, the pages table will need a foreign key to help it keep track of which subject it belongs to. We talked about foreign keys earlier. In Rails, we would name the foreign key subject underscore ID. That's the singular name of the foreign table plus ID. The sections will need a page ID column to track which page is its parent page. Both subject ID and page ID will be integer columns. Here are your objectives for your assignment. Generate the models for the subject, the page, and the section. And remember, when you generate a model, a migration file is included. Then, write the migrations. For the subjects, you'll have a name column, which will be a string, a position, which will be of type integer, and visible, which will be of type boolean. Name will be the name that appears in the left navigation. Position is going to determine the order that those items should appear, and visible will let us turn the page on and off to show or hide it from the public. Then for the pages table, we'll use the same fields that we had before with the addition of permalink. Permalink will be used as a URL to refer to the page. Instead of referring to a page as ID number 5, we'll be able to give it a nice, readable, and search engine optimized URL instead. The sections will also have name, position, and visible, but they'll include content type and content. Content type is what kind of content will go in this section, and content is the page content itself. That goes in a text column because it can be quite long. Don't forget to add the foreign keys that we just talked about. Those aren't included in this list. And then you'll need to add indexes. I will give you a hint. I would add in three additional indexes, none of which would be on the subjects table. And the last step is going to be to run your migrations. Run the up method to migrate up, then try down method to make sure that works too. Try going all the way up and all the way down and moving around between different versions to get a feel for how that works. When you're done, make sure you migrate all the way back up so that your database will be in the same state as mine. This challenge should take about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Refer back to the movies in this chapter if you get stuck. When you're done, be sure to watch the solution video where I will show you the solution that I came up with. Good luck.